Previously on The Yummy Project, we had Jean-Claude teach us how to prepare a chicken and shrimp alfredo. Today on The Yummy Project, we have Emma teaching us how to prepare a classic chocolate cupcake. Hi, my name is Emma. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a simple chocolate cake with simple ingredients and tools. The tools we are using today are cupcake pan, cupcake liners, balloon whisk, a rubber spatula, and an ice cream scoop. So for our ingredients, we have in here flour, baking powder, baking soda, cocoa powder, and a pinch of salt. For our wet ingredients, we have here oil, hot water, milk, an egg, and vanilla extract. So into our mixing bowl, we'll put all our wet ingredients together. We'll put the hot water in last because we don't want it to cook the eggs. So I'm just breaking up the eggs and mixing everything together. And then we'll put our hot water in next. Just mix. And now all your dry ingredients go into the bowl. Put everything into it. And now whisk. You want to make sure everything is well incorporated. So you continue whisking until it is smooth, but making sure not to over mix it. And just like that, we are done. Okay, so now we are going to line our cupcake pan and fill them before they go into the oven. This recipe makes just about 10, so we are just going to Line 10. Yeah. Before we fill in our cupcake liners, you want to stir this to make sure everything is well incorporated. And we'll use our scoop to help us fill it in without making a mess. As you can see, this is a very runny butter, so we're using the ice cream scoop to help us not make a mess. So we're going to fill our cupcake liners and leave just about a quarter up the liner. Don't fill it all the way to the top. Leave an allowance for when it bakes. So like so, it's fine. So at this point, our oven has been preheated to 180 degrees for 20 minutes and our cupcakes are going to go in for 15 minutes. So our cakes have been in the oven for 15 minutes now. We are going to take them out and test them. So in order to know your cake is ready, when you put your fingers on it lightly, it springs back. Or if you want to be very sure, you can use your tester 
push it into the center of the cake, bring it out. When it comes out clean, your cake is ready. In this case, our cake is ready. So we are going to be decorating our cupcakes with mocha whipped cream, vanilla whipped cream, and chocolate ganache. We have here a piping tip, which is a rose tip, in a big size and in a small size. And I'll show you how I use them. Hi, I'm Ema, the face behind House of Cakes GH and Pizza by Ema, and this is the Yummy Project by Foodie Diaries. So I was pretty much bored after uni whilst waiting for my posting to do my service, and I started researching online food recipes, and here I am today. So it's really pretty much been a roller coaster ride. But I'll say the obstacle that like keeps coming is getting people to understand the quality of the product I'm making and also paying for its value. But besides that, I'll say it's been good. One thing that drives me the most is when I get reviews about my cakes or any big product I make and when people are really excited and they call me or text me, it validates why I'm doing this in the first day. So that's one thing I look forward to. I like creating things that get people excited and happy. Yeah. I would say my mom. She doesn't bake though, but she really encourages me to forge forward when I have like down times and also she's my biggest critique as well. So when I make something and it doesn't taste good to her, it really doesn't go out. So if you're really tasting good stuff from me, you have my mom to thank for that. I read business in high school and then I diverted to do sociology and social work. So the two are not directly connected, but I'll say that they've helped my brand to be what it is today and it's, it's, it continues to push the brand because my business background and then my social work background helps me with relating to clients and also being business savvy. I don't know if I have a favorite rival. I don't know how my rival can be a favorite but if I'm going to be biased, I'll give it to my friend because she makes like really good cakes and she's creamy crust and her name is Na. You should check her out. I don't go out much, but I like honeysuckle because they have good food. And um, yeah, honeysuckle. to be able to read minds. So I can tell what people are genuinely thinking about me, even when they're smiling to my face. Yeah, that one. So this has been fun on the Yummy Project with Foodie Diaries. 
and I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can follow me on at House of Cakes GH on Instagram or at pizza underscore by underscore Ama on Instagram as well. Have a good time. Bye.